this big home is called the Big Kahuna. So I am so excited to see what the Big Kahuna looks like because if it has the name Big Kahuna, we want it to live up to its name. Look how long that house is. Let's go to the end and just really. There it is, you guys. The big kahuna. Let's go see what the big kahuna looks like. Shall we? The big kahuna. The big kahuna looks big already. All right, let's shut the, shut the door. This is where I entered. Again, a cutout there, I like that. Being in a shoeless household, you always want a place where your guests can take their shoes off before they step on the carpet. So, this is a living room. Ceiling fan. Again, this one isn't finished, so please excuse the construction. It, um, it's still being trimmed out. But you have a nice size living room here. Two big windows in the living room. Really nice. opens into the dining room and kitchen. This is your dining room area. Such a huge space for the dining room. Look at all of that space, you guys. Love the dark um, wood floors. Love the wood accent wall. You've got two large windows in the dining room area. Love the light fixture, which seems to be pretty standard in all of their signatures homes. This is Wayne Fryer Home Center. The name of this home is the Big Kahuna. You won't see pricing, unfortunately. This home center doesn't allow uh, posting of their prices. It's not in the home. It's not on their website. You have to call them for pricing, but all their information will be down in the description box. So here is the dining room and it overlooks into the kitchen. Now this is that color I love for the cabinets. I absolutely love the color of these cabinets. It's like a honey color. I love the cutouts at the top for decor. Plenty of cabinet space in here. You've got a sink, uh, excuse me, a window over the sink in this kitchen. And you also have a long window over here by the stove, which is really nice. This kitchen lets in a lot of light, a lot of natural light. You've got can lights in the ceiling in this kitchen. Beautiful. You've had you have electrical outlets in the island. You have space for two bar stools. You've got the dark wood, excuse me, the dark countertop, but you've got a beautiful butcher top here um, on the island. And even though it has a standard sink, I love the faucet in this one because you have the faucet and you have the sprayer combined. Really nice. Love the cabinets. You have your dishwasher there. You have a, a built-in microwave with additional cabinet space above. You have a shelf for decor. You have your, all of these homes have the double refrigerator, which is a really nice, really nice plus. So you have your freezer there. 
and your refrigerator there. Really nice. So this is the kitchen. Dining room with the accent wood accent wall that complements the kitchen uh, cabinet color. Okay. And then it overlooks into your living room. Pretty. Now you have a huge pantry off the dining room. Love it. Huge pantry. I would also put shelving over there. This would not only be for um, food stuff, but my appliances as well. I would take full advantage of the storage and have shelving along that wall. Beautiful. This door closes. So if you have company, you can shut that door. Have that cute barn door look that I like. But it's not the sliding kind. I think I like the actual doors that close personally. So, awesome. Now, this is the living room. And of course we see we have the dining room, we have the kitchen, and then over here you have a family room. Okay, so you have a huge family room that you can also get to. Oh no, that's not the living room, that's another room. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So this is a family room. This is a huge room. This is bigger than the living room, you guys. I'm gonna come over here and scan the room and let you see just how big that is. Like that is a, this is a big family room. Awesome. I almost think that it should be a fireplace over there in this room. They, that would make this room just a little bit cozier, you know what I mean? So awesome, off the family room, you have guest bedroom number one. Love the color, I guess this would be the boys room. This baby blue, um, nice size room. That's the closet. All right, so that's guest bedroom number one. Again, this isn't, here's a family room. You have guest bedroom number two. Oh, this is also a blue. So you have guest bedroom number two. Nice. Got your closet there. All right. And then you have your guests. Again, this is a four bedroom. So you have your double sinks, toilet, tub and shower combination. Really nice size bathroom guest bathroom. Everybody can get ready at one time. <laughs> so we are back in the family room and I just wanted to show you. So I'm standing in the kitchen and we just saw those two bedrooms and the bathroom. And then over here is the third guest bedroom. So you have three guest bedrooms in this home. Nice size, and then you have your closet there. All right, and then three guest bedrooms. And then this other room is the utility room. So you have your sink for the utility room and your back door, 
your washer and dryer go here you have cabinet space and the rod to hang clothes and you even have room in here if you wanted to you could put a deep freezer or extra storage or hooks like a mud room this is a huge utility room now this is the first one that i haven't that this is the first one at this home center um that doesn't connect to the master um is what i noticed all of them i've been kind of expecting it to be off the master and connect to the master but this one doesn't it is huge and it's a nice size this home is called the big kahuna you guys four bedrooms th two baths big kahuna very good very good all right so let's go on the other side of the house back through the living room and see the master so the size of the master bath didn't disappoint i knew this would be huge just how huge i'm gonna show you by coming in here and scanning the room so this is the master bedroom huge size you have your master bath here again you have the wooden accent wall double sink same color cabinets as in the kitchen I love this color you have your open shelving down there you have shelving here you have a separation in the two sinks you even have a little space here for like makeup if you want to use that small space for makeup two mirrors up there and lots of open shelving up here for decor or towels or i could see this home with a like a spa feel with spill with rolled towels and washcloths and maybe um lotions and stuff like that perfumes and things of that nature so anyway Just looking, I'm still sick, you guys. That's why my face looks like that. So, okay, let's see what this room. So you have a closet here. You have a small closet here. All right, but this door completely closes. You have your garden tub with two windows there deep tub i love the space on either side for like towels or decor you have your shower there love the tile and the shower head beautiful love the tile i'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it has the um, this towel has like a granite look, but it's just tile. And then I love this. Love it, love it. You have a bench over there. This is a huge shower. And then you have a private toilet. This door closes. And then you have a huge... Let's see if I can turn the light on. I didn't think about that in another home, but let's see if we could shed some light. In this master closet, huge master closet, you guys. Hope that helps you to really see. I keep trying the lights as if they're gonna come on. <laughs> Huge master closet. All right, so this is your master bath. You've got a huge master closet. A smaller closet here, I would totally put extra shelving in there and make that just a linen closet. 
Um, you've got your toilet in this door, your shower there, tub, double sinks, all right, master bedroom, living room, dining room and kitchen, pantries in there. And then you've got your huge family room and guest bedrooms on that side. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the big kahuna.